What is that we see in this painting? Anybody wants to say anything about it? Yes. It looks like someone who's trapped between so many things, so many layers of walls, and it's just them, and there's bars in front of them. Beautiful. Anybody else? Yes. I see a person who's smiling and happy on the outside, but it seems like on the inside, they're not so happy. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> that the artist is trapped in, in like a box, and they have nothing, and they don't know how to get out. They're trapped in something that they don't know. And just trapped. Okay, trapped in, in that limited space. I want to do something that would be unusual, that hasn't been done before. I want to help you guys and girls to bring that creative power that is inside you out and put that into your life. Once you put the creative power into your life, you can do anything, anything. So I'm Leslie Heimog, the Executive Director of the Children's Law Center of Los Angeles. We are a nonprofit law firm that provides legal representation to all of the children in Los Angeles County that are involved in the child welfare system or the foster care system. All of our clients come to us because they are victims of abuse or neglect, um, and there are we serve 24,000 children. We have the largest foster care system in the country, unfortunately. There's something in the process of fusion art that has to do with the expression of one's heart onto the canvas that, that causes a catharsis as the, as the person is taking the emotion, the feelings that they have inside their heart and, and placing, placing it out there, placing it on the canvas. It, it's something physical that helps them where they're able to deal with it. These are kids with a lot of limitations. But Limitation is their power. If they can tap into that limitation, uh, they can bring out their inner power. If they reduce the size of the boxing ring to half, the fighters have to be better fighters to be able to fight each other. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. And I want you to go into your own world. I want you to express your own uniqueness something that you have that nobody else has. Something that you have that nobody else has. So begin to feel, you might not know what it is. As you paint, your heart is gonna tell you that, what it is. So you paint and your heart is gonna guide you. So whatever your feeling is, let that take over. Don't think, don't think what I wanna do next. Just let your feeling tell your whole hands and body and everything to be the creative process. So through that I want you to paint and stay painting The work of an artist is the expression of the artist's feeling. It has nothing to do with the rational thinking. It's all about how you feel. You express your feeling. The better you express your feeling, the better artist you are. I am helping you to discover what is inside you. So be free and put it out because once you discover what is inside you, then you find your strength, you find your power, and you will find your weaknesses as well. And that's how I'm gonna be coaching you to develop
If you don't have something, it's for you to benefit from not having it. You understand what I'm saying? Benefiting from not having it means that you create it. Thomas Edison did that and created the light. See, my thing is who I really want, who I really want to be in life. It shows, it shows me. It okay. doesn't show someone else. It shows me who beautiful, I am, beautiful. who I want to be. Beautiful, beautiful. You know? And I love what you've done. It's just that you want to fill in the the gaps so that it would be a nice painting. So wipe off, you know, get all the paint and fill in all the gaps like you did. And that's it. I love the painting the way you've done it. It's expressing you. This is my picture. And this is my painting. This is my painting. This is my painting. This one's my painting. This is my painting. And yeah. the splatter came to me as a feeling. I don't know. Like every single dot of these feelings are like different feelings that I feel right now. Like every single dot that you see. It's my picture that I drew about me and my brothers. And my mom, like, we always have visits together. <laughs> and she likes, she loves me, and I love her too. The little things symbolize the barrier, you know, between, you know, love or whatnot. But, but I'm simply uh, trying to say that there's somebody out there for you. You just gotta overcome everything that's in your way. I had some issues, you know, so. I felt like I was trapped in, in a mirror, you know? I felt like everywhere I went inside a mirror, everywhere I saw a mirror, I was inside of it, you know? I was trapped inside of it because I couldn't get out. And my heart, as you see, it's covered up because I, it's destroyed right now. It's not the best heart that a person could have, you know? And the sun is just hitting it. It's a lot of, you know, light, light that I can have someday, someday that I can have in my heart, you know. And the roots, well, that's what it's, my heart's attached to right now. What, well, basically, it's all my feelings, all, all the stuff that I can get out one day, all the stuff that is going to bring me to life, you know. That's what my feelings are about. Each color remind me of faith and each color represents faith why I want to go home with my real family with my family that I live with. There's still there's still a little darkness in um, the corners. Uh -huh. So but I'm trying to with the other colors I'm trying to like get rid of them so that's why there's so little of that and so much of this. I guess the rainbow would um represent all of the emotions coming out of Mr. Hart right there. <laughs> the path is life itself, you know, it's like you can walk but you never know what's going to happen. Life's just hard sometimes, like sometimes you got to deal with the struggles and everything, so the swirlies are struggles and stuff that tries to block me from where I'm trying to go. Yeah, everything's like over the smiley face because like I'm kind of a person with anger issues sometimes. This like just resembles struggle and everything, you know, how everybody has hard times. But if you look at some of the people who've gone through them, they're happy and everything, so that's where I'm trying to get. My happiness is inside, the heart, when you're down. And then my joy is all the pink. Beautiful. And then everything else is just outside, because right now I was more into my happy place than my miserable, horrible life. I just like made everything like explode out of my heart mm -hmm. bad and keep and I'm absorbing everything else that was good inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one, the, the lower part, is the part that is feeling good inside your heart mm -hmm. and the rest is what you've thrown out of your heart? Yes. Beautiful. The hand is 
yeah. you know, you have the earth in your hands, so you exactly. can accomplish anything you put your mind to. That's what the head symbolizes, you know. And the green inside is the earth. It's pure and natural. And the yellow is like this, just this raw, good energy, just aura of greatness, you know. And the little cracks in this, like, you might have a little bit of obstacles, but if you truly put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. And this is what the picture, this is what I see personally. Well, that image, like, I don't know, like, whether it would have been a bird or, or an angel or whatever, but, like, that's me. Like, that's my spirit. And, like, the reason why I put, like, it dark, it's, it's dark right here and right there, because, like, now I feel like even when I feel down or, like, if I'm around darkness or like if I'm depressed or you know how sometimes you get into a point in your life where you just feel like there's no way out like I feel like that God always leads me out like I always had this faith that everything was going to be all right and it has because I came a long way like I've been through a lot and so that's exactly what it was like my life is just opening up and I'm getting guided up and that perfect light is him and that's how it inspired me <laughs> thank you that is how artists express their feeling. Just look at that painting and remember constantly who you are. Artist has already said whatever they want to say. It's about what it does to our emotions that becomes important. To me, it looks like blindness because there's only part of the heart there and the rest are different colors. And then she can't find the other heart because the other colors are blinding it. Mm -hmm. So it looks like blind. Oh wow, how beautiful. Her eyes just broken. She, she just feels like one side is there, but the other side is not. And then night, all the colors are just like hitting her. I think she's losing half of herself to her own emotions, and that's why it's only really half of her heart. Because she's losing part of herself to her emotions. And that the magenta at the bottom, it's kind of like showing like that the other part of her will soon, soon be going away if she doesn't get herself straightened out. The four little things are like her brothers or sisters and they're like waiting to come for her. They're waiting to come for her, but the little star is not letting it. Thank you. She's drawing us, you know. There's many times like you could fall, mm -hmm. but you can get back here. The yellow parts are um, kind of like um, the end, like you're sifting through all this madness, <clears throat> trying to get to like, um, the, like it kind of like represents freedom, like, like you're climbing through all through all of it and eventually you're going to be like or like um like somewhere there's going to be um, something good waiting for you. We all cut on top of Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Each one of us is an individual doing our own thing which is different from anybody else. It kind of looks like a volcano, you know? Cause like it's all going up to one spot and then it's blowing up in the top. Every single moment, all the bad stuff is releasing and all the good stuff is receiving. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Do you see the little pink thing that's falling down from the heart? Mm -hmm. Those could be all the tears mm -hmm. to slow it in and go, 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 go <laughs> from the heart. Um, your painting is real and when you first when you first started doing it, it really inspired me. Okay, 
It looks like the tree is on fire. Oh. Okay. Okay. They made it weird in a way where you could see two different things. Like I could see a flower and then I could see like the sky and the grass and stuff. And then it looks upside down. Then it looks like it's raining. Yeah, it looks like someone's like looking through the rain to something they can't quite make out on the horizon. The artist is like stuck in all of their feelings and they don't and they just can't take it out and they're stuck so that every time they cry it's like living out their feelings. Beautiful. Yeah, that person has no way to take out those feelings, so she writes it down on paper so everybody can like say something about it. So maybe that one person that says something, um, she she's like, oh yeah, that's what I was feeling, you know. It looks like they're her friends, like she's leaving them for some reason. Maybe she has like too many problems, and that's why she needs to like get away from them for a while. I think she's like all her, her feelings and all her happiness and everything, everything else is like flying away from her. This canvas means that there's like a big tornado and all her stuff or all her family is flying away. If you notice, like they didn't put any color at, at the corner, like where it's white. You know, that might show that, you know, like despite all this, a part of them still feels like pure or still feels light or maybe that happiness. That blue part, I don't know why, but it looks like a wound. You know, um, you don't, like, you don't want to get trapped, sort of. You know, you have your days. That thing in the background, it's like that the thing. mama cradling in her stomach. I think that her heart got taken away by all the stress and all the pain, and she or he is feeling bad, and they want to recover that. Like, you know, that, like, like stitches, each one is your feeling. It's trying to go itself back. So then they're trying to get rid of that pain, get rid of that stress, and then they can bring the heart back with her. I think that the, I think that this whole thing is about, um, like she loves her mom and she cares about her and she, um, and she misses her and maybe she's thinking that she wants to be with her. Is that thing? Thank you. Yes. Or maybe she uh, misses her family. Yeah. I think that's probably like a, some kind of something that's like sucking her out to not go back in with her family and all that. To me, that looks like a person who, who doesn't know how to start a road. Well, not in a bad way, like not, not knowing how to drive, but like <laughs> they don't know how to get on the road. And then once they're on the road, they don't know what, what, path, what path to take. And so the colors in the back of the road is like they're confused and upset and sad at the same time. <laughs> Beautiful. I would buy that for a thousand oh. thousand dollars. Do you know how they throw flowers <laughs> at the at the end of the performance? Yeah. So like that kind of curtain is, is like the performance. It's like a performance. Like it's happening. It's it's drama. It's like it's like all the good stuff. But then one it's day over. it's just gonna yeah it's just gonna close. Well, um, yeah, wow. <laughs> 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 it's so gross. It's tough because right now it's a happy moment, so we want, I want to stay happy. So you want, you don't want the, cur the curtains to close, huh? No. Yeah, so, ooh, I'm getting I got it right. We're getting it, <laughs> <homie. laughs> Thank you all of you who've come here on this Sunday to uh, join these young artists in here to see their uh, final works and uh, see their progress. Hopefully they will talk about it themselves, about what has happened to them throughout this process. The reason why I do this painting is because like, I figured that in my life, there's so much drama and it's so <laughs> the worst way to <sighs> things like and there's so much drama and there's so much pain in my life and <sighs> I think sometimes I let it take me away from me knowing seeing from seeing what I really am. And like sometimes I look in the mirror and I can say, I see somebody ugly. 
But like I said, I hate that person that I see. And I drew this because I want to let it all go. Because I know that's not why God put me here. And I'm something so much better than that. And that's what the flower is for. Because despite what, I want to always remember who I am. And that seed that he planted in me was love and greatness. And that's what I'm going to become in the future. You know what she's doing? She is finding the way out of it on this canvas. Because this comes from her heart. It expresses itself on the canvas. When she looks at it herself, that shows her where to go. That becomes her guide because that's her own subconsciousness. It's her own power that is helping her to develop it. Congratulations, because you are taking steps toward a direction that is going to be tremendous. Not only changes you, it's going to change many, many other people as you being the role model for them in the, your creative process. So you have been given the gift of being at this point, at, at this place, to begin a new life that is going to make change not only in your life and your loved ones, in thousands and thousands of people's lives. This is where you are, and this is your guide for that whole process. Thank you. I'm the adoptive mother of one of the participants. And um, I, I'm so grateful that she had a chance to be part of this workshop. The development that I've seen in her tackle, her emotions, has been really remarkable. Ten years from now, somebody's going to look at that and say, wow, somebody painted that ten years ago. <laughs> That's what you call a visionary. And hopefully, there's going to be a lot more of you coming through. Certainly, just like any of the kids in this workshop, there's a lot of painful history, uh, a lot of emotions to contend with and work through. Um, and the most valuable thing that for me came out of this class that she realized herself how she was keeping it all inside. We all knew it would only come out at very extreme situations, but um, the, the first comment after the first weekend was, this is so personal, and she was not feeling comfortable at all with letting go, but then Week three, she was getting really fed up with looking around and other kids are being able to let go. But here, I am still painting something very literal. And then week four was when this explosion happened. And uh, it, it's an incredible transformation that happened, really. If you see the two paintings side by side, it almost seems inconceivable to make that much of a jump. I was really impressed by the way he uh, empowered um, the students through art. Don't get frustrated. Don't become hopeless because you face some limitation. And that's what I want you to know in your life. Every time something is missing in your life is because there is something greater that exists with you. Utilize that. It's non-threatening, you know, it's, it's non-judgmental. Um, what he, they create is an extension of themselves. And uh, they really, really enjoyed it uh, because of that. When he brought the art home, I'm like, Errol, are you sure you never draw before? He go, no, Miss Pat, I never draw before. And this um, um, professor of art see this gift in me. And I said, well, for you, I will get up every Sunday and make sure you get there. I'm very grateful and I'm humble. To, you know, take this opportunity and do something great with it. So, very thankful. I think that you guys are so great that you can really make a change in people's life.
Let your feeling express itself. And then you'll be good because your feeling would communicate with other people's feelings. And the lines, the blue lines that closes all of them? And the blue lines is like, that's the goodness in a person, you know. That's the goodness that everybody contains in them. How do I start painting just like I did? No. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm painting when I start. You start like that by screwing? Yeah. Always. No, I don't play. Always. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm painting. Watch that. Watch that. See? Oh. Yeah. I see the channel. Yeah. And then it's turning into a yellow river. See, I already got a... <laughs> now I got a, I got a person in here, you see? You see that person? That's the head, the, the, the neck, the body. There's this girl like a ballerina. Can you see that? Yeah. No, I see someone sitting on a rock. Okay, or yeah. sitting on the rock. But then I begin to paint that, you know, and play around with this whole thing. See, I just want to put, put some, give her some hair, you see? That looks nice now. Yeah, and I start developing it, and then I build up the rest of it. And that's, see, now I'm playing. I'm not trying to make anything. I'm just playing you know, you know, as it changes. You know what's cool about you? What? You just start to play. Play around. You're not, you don't even know what you're doing, and then you make like a drawing, and you don't even know what you're doing. Beautiful, beautiful. That's the creative process. If you draw, then you're limited with the drawing. Well, that's because you've been doing it for so long. That's true. And that's why I want to share it with you, so you won't have to go through all the lengthy process that I went through. You can do it right now. <laughs> 